In my opinion, the most important thing in receiving is timing. And all timing means is you want to have your mitt moving toward the strike zone as you receive the pitch, not away from the strike zone. There are two keys to being on time. Number one is you want to be relaxed. It's just the way the body works. A relaxed body is a quick body. Relaxed muscles react and move quicker than stiff muscles. The second part of being on time is going to be getting your mitt in the area of anticipated pitch location. Where are you expecting the pitch to go? So if the pitcher hits their spot, your mitt is already there and you're on time. In order to help you get your mitt moving toward the strike zone while you're receiving it, you want to get under anticipated low pitches and outside of pitches you're expecting to be on the edge. This is a perfect example here of getting around a pitch and moving it back toward the strike zone during the reception. This is Jan Gomes. Notice first thing, the timing of his setup. He's gonna wait until the pitcher lifts his leg. If you lift too early, if you set up too early, before the leg lift, you're giving away location and potentially even giving away pitch. So you wanna wait until the pitcher lifts their leg like Gomes does here. As Scherzer lifts the leg, Gomes gets set up. I'm guessing there are runners on base and that's why he got to a traditional setup, traditional secondary. Really pay close attention to his left elbow. As Scherzer is uh, releasing the pitch, notice that Gomes' left elbow flexes to get his mitt outside of the edge of the strike zone, outside of the margin, some coaches call it. Gets his mitt up to the pitch and then during the reception, he's punching back across his body. That is shoulder adduction. The pitch is about, I don't know, one, one and a half, maybe two baseballs out of the strike zone. But his quick and efficient move back toward the strike zone during the reception creates a strike for Scherzer. We don't want to catch the ball or receive it and then move it. We want to receive it and move it at the same time. One more time from the stop, uh, from the start. He waits until Scherzer lifts his leg, transitions into a traditional secondary stance. During the release, he knows where Scherzer's trying to throw this, gets his mitt outside of it, so that when he comes up, he can push it back across, back into the strike zone. Again, most important thing in receiving is timing. All timing means is have your mitt moving toward the strike zone while you're receiving it, not away from it. Two keys to being on time are relax. A relaxed body is a quick body. And get your mitt in the area of where you're expecting the pitch to go. So if the pitcher hits their spot, you're already there, you're on time, and it makes it easier to move the pitch toward the strike zone. As I always say, it's a beautiful thing.